Welcome back guys to another video. I'm Chipster Prez. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If not, welcome all the same. I'm gonna cut this one a little short because we have only a few topics short on what we usually do. But let's get down to brass tacks and get started with the first topic. Okay, so I'm scrolling through Twitter today uh, like any normal person do. Oh, let me give me a second, I'm drink my coffee. And, um, for some reason, Turning Red is trending on Twitter, and I have no fathom reason why. Maybe it's a meme, maybe it's public marketing, maybe it's just a bunch of hate speech again, who knows? Uh, but all I know is when I see going through at least down the rabbit hole of Turning Red memes, maybe it's just a random fluke in the algorithm. If you know, leave a comment down below on why this is becoming a trend, because I have no earthly god idea of what it is. But, that's all I gotta say on that topic. Uh, let's jump to the next one. Let's hurry things along. Okay, so like I said before, I'm gonna reuse the phrase again. I decided to go down the rabbit hole and watch a new anime. Uh, well, I wouldn't say watch, I binged watched it for 12 hours. <laughs> this one right here. Well, I'm gonna give it an 8.75. It has nothing to do with all the stuff that it's about. I kind of like the story for a basic slice of life anime. Makes me want to purchase the manga manga books. Then, like everything in uh, postpartum depression, the season three, we don't know if it's gonna get one. And if you're kind of a fan of it, I, I kind of like it. Well, that's a big no-no. Well, until we get more news about it, or until they make assumption about it, I'll, I'll keep you updated in the next one. But let's get down to our final topic for today. Okay, so as of a couple of hours ago, where I'm, where I'm from, or a case this morning, if you haven't figured out already, jump on that Twitter alternative bandwagon, because this one's gonna be a real big doozy of, doozy of a headline. Panic at the Disco is gonna disband after their UK summer tour. Now, to most people, that doesn't mean jack shit because no one cares about Panic at the Disco anymore. Or at least people who listen to now music. As for the elder millennial pop punk emo revival, whatever you wanna put yourself as, I think that is a very clinical milestone. Not saying that they haven't tapered off in the re most recent years. If you are more of a diehard fan, you would say that the newest album, Viva Las Vengeance, was actually really good, regardless of some of the titulations that it just sounds strained. Me, personally, I listen to the album and I think I think it hits sort of a sad clown vibe, but like in every circus, it has to come to an end. Uh, but I'm not gonna say that they didn't end on a bad note. They ended on a good note. Cause he was, for most people who like to call it not Panic at the Disco, but the Brandon Urie and Friends show. I personally think that Brandon Urie carrying the brand as by itself was probably what contributed. Not saying that the founding members and the members that tapered in and out over the course of a couple of years didn't have nothing to do with it. They made the band what it is through each era of Panic's livelihood. Now, from everything that I had done my research on in the past couple of hours, 
more, majority of it said that since he's gonna be, his wife and him are gonna be expecting, he wants to focus more on that instead of being on the show or on tour, constantly working. Now see, that makes sense. In, in a weird way, it does make sense to want to shift focus in your life like that. Some other people say that it's not that he's quitting music, he's just not gonna do a big major production like Panic. He's gonna just focus on a smaller thing, but it's very up in the air on what's gonna happen. So as for everything in the alternative, whatever genre you like to call it nowadays, um, who knows, mate? Yeah, like exactly. Who knows what's gonna be the future for Brendan Neary, Panic at the Disco, the whole icon brand as itself? Is it gonna taper off into the sunset? We never see it again. And she was like, bye, fuck off. Or he's he just doing this for a couple of years. And then like some of the old rock and roll bands from like the 80s and 90s, they come back to do a, a reunion tour, like uh, Kiss, like they, they done that. We won't know, but as for everything else in that, that's all I gotten on, on the story as it's developing. But as for that, guys, um, thank you for, um, let me rewind. Thank you for, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate all your, all the, all the support, all the feedback, all the positive, the negative, the things that make me a better person. I know I haven't been po posting lately. I've been working on a lot of music stuff right now. But if, but until then, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. And I'll catch you later. Bye.